my channel. Today I'm partnering with some of my favorite channels over at Kin Community and we're going to be doing some Valentine's Day DIYs. So in my video I'm going to show you how to make this love note pillow. It's got a pocket on the front to write your love notes and an unexpected little hand embroidered heart on the back. But be sure to check out the other thumbnails at the end of this video. Click on those and see some of the other great DIYs. So if you are a beginner, have no fear. You can totally do this project. I have an envelope pillow cover video that I will link right here that's great for beginners, like beginners you've never sewn before. I go through all the steps on cutting and tons of basics. So check that video out if you're a beginner. If you do sew a little bit, you'll be able to follow along with this tutorial. I'm gonna show you all the steps. Stay tuned to the end of the video to hear my tip of the day and let's get started on this pillow cover. Cut out the pieces of fabric. I used a great linen and cotton blend, um, something nice and thick and heavy for the pillow cover. You need a 17 by 17, a 17 by 13, and a 17 by 12. So these are the pieces right here, and you're gonna take the top piece, the 17 by 30, and I'm gonna draw a shape of a heart with a water soluble pencil, and I'm gonna add the embroidery on to this piece. So you're gonna do this step first before we start sewing any of the other pieces. Pick out some nice embroidery floss or pearl cotton, which is what this is. Take an embroidery hoop, attach the fabric to your embroidery hoop, and using an embroidery needle, you're gonna just using a back stitch, make a stitch um, going around the heart with some hand embroidery. I'm gonna show you right here, pull it up through, just make a knot, you're going to go down and then pull the thread through. I'm going to show you a few more times. And then you're going to do, this is called a back stitch. And then you're going to poke it up a little bit a ways. The good kind of measure is a kernel of rice. So here it is a little bit closer. And this is obviously optional, but I think it adds a really fun and uh, beautiful touch, something unexpected to the back of this pillow. So you're gonna get started on here, and then you're gonna sit down and go all the way around to the entire heart. I love this fabric. It has French words on it, which makes it even more romantic. Um, it has, uh, here's how you're gonna finish it off. And then you're gonna place it back down there, and then you're gonna make some knots on the back and a thread in your tail. But this fabric has uh, French words. I don't know what they all mean, so if any of you speak French and can kind of uh, tell me what some of these words are, but I see beau, which is handsome in French, party, uh, party with, with an I, just like the English um, party, and souffle. So it's gotta be good, right? Um, iron that fabric out, and then here are our pieces. There's our two by six piece of a pocket. So go ahead and fold over the top of the pocket, um, fold it over two times and iron that down. And then we're gonna stitch that top of the pocket down. And I'm gonna add a little top stitch here to make it a little bit more um, beautiful, I guess. It's optional, but it kind of adds a good finishing touch. Next, we're gonna do the same things with our 17 by 13 and our 17 by 12 inch pieces. You're gonna iron it over two times and then stitch it down. I go over all of this in a slower detail with my envelope pillow cover video if you need a refresher. I'm gonna top stitch on this one. This is the top piece with the heart embroidery on it. It's the side that you're gonna see. It's the seam you're gonna see when you have your cover on the back side. So the second one I made a smaller seam, ironed it over two times, and I'm just gonna stitch it down once. Then you're gonna fold over the sides of the pocket. You wanna make sure that those um, unfinished edges are nice and securely in there so that we can get those down with the sewing machine. I cut out souffle as best I could with that pocket and I lined it up with the other words just so that it would be almost hidden. There's our top stitching that we've already done and we're gonna start with a back stitch and stitch down the side, across the bottom, and then back up the other side. Make sure you're getting all of those unfinished edges nice and sewn down. That way this envelope pillow cover will be fully washable and you won't have any exposed edges of fabric. So make sure you're ending with a top stitch or a back stitch. And there's our pocket, so cute over there. Kind of hidden and a little bit asymmetrical. I like that about this. 
and then we're going to put our pillow cover together. So the first thing you want to do is get your piece with your embroidered heart or your top piece with your, your top stitching, the seam you did with your top stitching. You're going to place that down first, right sides together. Then you're going to place your secondary piece this way and pin all of those pieces together. Make sure everything is pinned and you are going to stitch all the way around on the sewing machine. I'm doing about a half inch seam allowance and make sure you're back stitching at the beginning and I also back stitch at the opening parts. So the seam um, from the envelope pillow cover where it may be getting some wear, some pulling when you're adding your pillow form or when you're washing it. I just reinforce those seams just a little bit. You're going to sew all the way around removing your pins as you go. You can see right here I'm going to back stitch right there. Make sure you're pivoting at your corners and sew all the way around. Once that is complete, this is how your seam will look. What you need to do is finish your edge. I used a serger or you can use a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. Then once that's done, clip your corners so that your corners will pop out uh, and give you a nice good point. Next I'm going to use a 16 by 16 inch pillow form. It is ready to go on your pillow form right when you've done the clipped corners and of course your edges are finished if you want it to be washable. If it doesn't matter to you that it's washable you don't have to do that step but it will help. Straighten everything out inside your pillow form and you are done. I hope that you enjoyed this project and that it inspires you to make something beautiful. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I love this project because you can utilize it really for the whole year. It doesn't have to be used just around Valentine's Day. You can use this project all year long. Um, just pick some fabric that's maybe goes with your home decor or something neutral. My tip for today is if you notice any weird things happening with your tension, your skipping stitches, your thread tension isn't quite right, change your needle. That's always the first thing I recommend doing if you have anything weird going on with your thread tension. So that's my tip for today. Be sure to check out the other great DIYs linked at the end of this video. Just click on those thumbnail images and it will take you right to those videos. You're gonna love them. And thanks so much for watching this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that great stuff. Leave me a comment letting me know what you think of this DIY. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.